We are now approaching the never ending armpit. Look, Look mate, mate, we got to move your bed now. Back off! This, this has gone, gone on long, long enough, enough now. now. We, we have, have to finish the bus stop before eight. eight. The, the commuters, commuters are getting impatient. You know what they're like. Bus, 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 briefcase, briefcase. bus, meeting, 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 bonus, meeting. bonus. Bus, bus 24, bus, bus to work for. I've told you already, this is my bed. No, no bus here. This is my home home. Me, me. Me, 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 meeting, meeting. Meeting, 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 meeting. No, no meeting. Go away. Look, mate. I can give you till 12. But that's it. After that, we're going to get the beavers in. And they will make short work of your bed. This is a violation of my human rights. Coffee! I demand my morning coffee! Fine, fine. Sorry. Oh, I couldn't sleep at all with all that banging across the road. Could you? Olives do not sleep, mademoiselle. We simply meditate. Espresso bus, if you please. Remember, the customer is the priority. Yeah, yeah. Most customers don't live on the top of my bar, though. Have you looked out the front door? There is a queue of commuters the length of the street. And they do not look so pleased about you opening late. What? There are so many commuters. Thank God I stocked up on pocket eggs. I'm going to be a rich woman by the end of the day. Mark my words. Good morning. What can I get you? Cronuts. Cronuts? Hang on, don't... Don't you mean pocket eggs? Cronuts! 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 Would you please form an orderly queue and, and calm down? Cronuts! Cronuts! Oh, Matilda, I think you have made a grave out of judgment. Cronuts! So I take it that you're not interested in pocket eggs? Die! 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 Oh dear! Die! 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 Plus twenty-four to die! Die! Work! Work! Oh, I'm, I'm so confused. I thought commuters were into pocket eggs. I, I stocked up on them for that very reason. Matilda, pocket eggs were last month. This month is cronuts. Why didn't you tell me if you're so clever? If I would tell you every time you do something foolish, I would not have time to watch TV. Oh, I see. In that case, an olive on toast, anyone? An olive on toast? Ah, here we go again. I told you so many times, olive on toast is not a dish. No one will ever. Oh, yes. Sounds jolly nice. I'll take one. What? What? Here you go. 99 cents, please. Thank you. Matilda, you, you cannot be serious. I'm starving. Make sure you chew well. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Au revoir, sweet life. Oh, she has got morning press. Stop everything. Oh. Uh, la, la, uh, mm. Mon Dieu! Help! I need a piece of cardboard! I am alive! Oh, monsieur! You saved my life! How can I ever repay you? Well, you can get me my house back for a start. Oh, uh, well, it, it was more a figure of speech. I, I'm quite busy, actually. Yes, busy being a pain in my ass. Matilda, please, we have company. Can you give me some cardboard, please? Well, it's your lucky day. I have rippled cardboard, smooth cardboard, shiny cardboard, yeah, free yeah, range I don't cardboard. care. Just give it to me. Free range it is then. Any colour preference? I've got brown, beige, cappuccino, Brown, brown, brown. I take brown. Good choice. And, and I need to borrow a pen. A pen? Well, I've got... A thick black marker pen. Five millimetres, seven... That one! I mean, that one, please. Here you go. What do you need them for? I'm writing a sign, a big sign that says, Private bed, back off! Oh, you're the guy from the bus stop. I'm so sorry that they knocked your house down. <laughs> was really a shock this morning. Did they not give you any notice? Um, no. no they didn't send no, you any letters? Nothing? The same thing happened to me once. I was living in a great place full of attractive people, and then one day the entire roof was torn off, and we were thrown out of the place. You know I'm sorry about that, but like I've said a million times, the jar was out of date. No reason to throw my entire family into the rubbish bin. I thought they were off, you know, they stank a bit. What you smelled was the aroma of aristocracy and class, something that is clearly missing in your establishment. Uh, I think I better leave. Thanks for the cardboard. And the pen. Yes, and the pen, of course. Thank you. Just out of curiosity, what's your plan now? Well, as I said, I'm writing a sign, a big sign that says, Private No, bed. no, I mean after that. Um, sorry? 
I beg your pardon? Always getting into other people's business. You're going to scare the beavers off. Great. But what about tomorrow and the day after tomorrow? Are you planning to live in a bus station now, constantly fighting people off? <laughs> of course not. That sounds really crazy. No, I think I'm going to stay in bed until I get my house back. <laughs> and how are you going to get your house back? More cardboard. What a genius. I think if you really want your house back, you have to go to the city hall. Oh no, God, please, not the city hall. Why? It's always better to talk to people in person. They are human. They will understand. <laughs> But I don't even know where the city hall is. How can I possibly go there then? I know where it is and I can show you. I want to go to town anyway. There is a truckload of pocket eggs I need to get rid of. As usual. Monsieur Olive, did you want to say something? Uh, no, 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 no. You go. You go. And waste everybody's time. Number 43, please. Oh, needed one number. Number 44, please. Come on. Number 45, please. Hurry up. Yes, great. I'm number 46. Number 45, team, please. Number 40 what? Number 45, team, one, please. God, maybe I hit it too hard. Uh, excuse me, Zoe. Zoe, can I get just in front of you? Thank number you. Number 45, Excuse me, I think the number machine is broken. Uh, are you number 45, Teeny Foo Foo? Uh, of course not. Ticket number 45, Teeny Foo Foo, here. Thank you, madam. Office room five, please. Miss Fuzzle will see you now. Would you please step back and wait until your number is called? But I'm number 46. How long does this take? Number 46? Well, let me see. It takes a year. A year? But I don't have a year. Would you please clear the area? No, I woke up this morning and my house has been replaced by a bus station. And it's not right. Oh, I see there's been some misunderstanding here. Exactly. See that red line that you passed when you entered here? Yep. From that line forward, you have entered into a no complaining zone. What? If you do wish to further complain, please step back behind the red line. Otherwise, take a yellow form here, fill it in with your details. And in six weeks, if you are accepted for a complaining permit, you can come back. No complaining, sir. This is just ridiculous. Sorry, sir. Was this another complaint? Because if it was, I would have to ask you to leave. But that's... <sighs> okay, please. I don't mean to complain, but interestingly, I'm without a bedroom. And it'd be great not to have the situation any longer. Oh, yes. Then you need Mr. Russell. You see that large poster on the wall behind you? Yes. The one that clearly states no complaining under any circumstances because we are fed up of hearing it. But that's complaining! Behind that, you'll find Mr. Russell. Just rustle on the door before you go in. Next. <sighs> Thank you. Hello. I've been having some problems with... Back behind the red line, madam. Pocket eggs. Get your pocket eggs. Roll up. Roll up. Get your monkey trim. You need your monkey trimmed, young lady? No, thank you. Pocket eggs, get your pocket eggs. Why won't anyone buy these bloody eggs? I'll take those pocket eggs off your hands, my darling, if you'll give a fine gentleman like myself a fair price. Oh, yes, uh, yes, great. I'd give you the lot for a hundred. Cool, blimey. Sounds good to me. Oh, wait, is that too low? <laughs> what the bloody hell are these? You trying to stitch me up? Pocket eggs? What were you expecting? Pocket eggs? I thought you were implying that you had testicles for sale. You thought I was selling testicles? Who do you think I am? What do you think this establishment was all about? Have you not seen the sign? Well, I thought organ traders meant organs, as in those big, you know, church pianos. Hang on. I called you guys last week to pick up my grandma's old organ. What did you do to her? Well, let's just say grandma won't be playing the old organ any time soon. Come in. Come in. What the hell is this place? Come closer, dear boy. That's it now. 
What can I do for you, young lad? Young whippersnapper. Well, I was told by the receptionist that you might be able to help me. I, I don't mean to complain, but last night... Forty years I've been down here. Okay. Sorry. Um, about the bus stop. Forty years. And every day more and more paper comes in. More comes in than goes out. Do you know, boy? Do you know what happens when for 40 years more comes in than goes out? Well, this I guess. Exactly! Well then, try recycling or something. I dare not move. Why? Paprophobia. Papra what? Fear of paper cuts. How exactly does one develop a fear of paper cuts? You see this scar, young man? You see it? Uh, no. Come closer, boy. Now look, boy. Look closer. You see this here scar? A long white line down my face. Got that when I was just a little boy like you. But how? Fell in the book. On a book? No, in the book, boy. You listening to me? You telling me a scar like this wouldn't put the fear of God into you? Wouldn't make you fear the sharp side of a document? Wait, the scar... The thing on your face, it's just... It's just a strip of paper, hang on. No, boy, no, no! Ah! Hang on, it's almost done. Why? Oh, why? Oh my god, it's your face. Your, your face is so papery. I'm so sorry. Why are you smiling? Smiling? You ripped my face from cheek to lip. Smiling is my only option. Network, the cooking show, lunch with friends. Ooh, love with friends. I hope Professor Pistachio is not too upset about poor Jessica Olive's betrayal in last week's episode. And to add a finishing touch to your vodka martini, take a green olive and skewer it with a cocktail stick. Oh, what a way for an olive to die. A skewer to the art. Well, if she wouldn't have slept with you no jalapeno and hadn't broken that poor Pistachio's heart... Oh, finally got off the phone to my grandma. I was just trying to apologise for the mix-up with the organ traders. I, I couldn't understand a word she was saying. She kept going on and on about having her ung removed. What's an ung? Anyway, I sent her over some pocket eggs. That will cheer her up. If you please, silence, Matilda. I'm watching my telenovel. I'm in need of some serious drama. And if you're feeling extra spicy, you can add a jalapeno to your martini. Ooh, that sneaky little bastard. Senior Jalapeno did it again. Oh. oh, hi, Herman. How did it go? Here's your pen back. Oh, thanks. Is everything okay? Uh, yes, everything's really great, Matilda. I took your advice and I spent all day at the city hall, and now the beavers are turning my bed into a feast. They're celebrating. Whee! I'm confused. You don't seem like everything's great, Herman. Of course everything isn't great. Actually, TV seems a little less interesting now. Oh, but I thought... Anyway, here's a pen. I was too busy at the city hall to write my sign. The sign that could have saved my house. You mean your bed? Because of you, I'm homeless. Could no one at the city hall help you? Does this sound like they could help me? Down it! Down it! Down it! Down it! Down it! Down it! I'm really sorry, Herman. I thought it'd work. I was really trying to help. From now on, I will never accept any help from anyone ever again. Ever! Ah, what is this? Hang on, Herman, your coat's stuck to the wind chime. Let me help. <sighs> okay. Okay, from now on, no help. Ooh la la, Matilda, you really fucked that up. Why do you have to be so mean all the time? It keeps me young. I am really... I'm, I'm too tired for this now. Today has just been really quite difficult. I'm going to go unpack the pocket eggs before they get too sweaty in the van. Fifteen thousand one hundred and twenty-three. Fifteen thousand one hundred and twenty-four. Fifteen thousand one hundred and twenty-five. Oh, Fifteen thousand one hundred and twenty-four. 
Oh, fudge. Fudging typical. <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> oh, Herman, it's raining. You can't sit out here on the street. It's not the street, Matilda. This is my bath. I'm technically sitting in my bath. Oh, right. Sorry. You want some privacy. Well, now you're standing on my toilet. Sorry. I'm sorry. You know, it's weird you coming in here uninvited and standing on my toilet. Sorry. It's just... What with your house not existing anymore? I didn't know. <coughs> Why don't you come back to the cafe? You can stay with me. There's space in my storeroom as long as you don't mind the smell of eggs. No. If I leave the spot, I'm going to lose my house. I won't let them win, even if... My bath is a puddle of dog piss. But it's freezing out here. You'll catch a cold. No, you won't change my mind. I'm staying here. Okay, if you're sure. Yeah, I'm very sure. Well, okay then. Do not give up that easily. Not this time. Hey, buddy. Do you mind if I set up here to do some busking? Yes, I do mind because you're standing in my living room. Awesome, thanks. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's nothing bad. Oh, you must be kidding me. A place of your own with a wall and a room. I'm not giving in. Paperwork. Why didn't I do my paperwork? Well, well that's not exactly true. I ignored letter after letter after well, letter. No, after now you're exaggerating. Letter, it was more like five letters. Letter, letter, but okay, letter, seven letters. Okay, seven. Oh, fine, 25 letters. I ignore 25 letters. Matilda, if you insist on me staying with you, I suppose I can stay one night, but that's it. Matilda? The Never Ending Armpit was written and produced by Georgia Savage and Florian Lambrecht, starring Florian Lambrecht as Herman, Georgia Savage as Matilda, Martin Becker as Monsieur Olive, and guest appearances from Susan Vaughan with special thanks to Ellis Freeman and to Film Aus Papier Berlin. The Never Ending Arm.